guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my favorites for the month of August. I have a lot of stuff to go through, so I'm gonna try and do this quickly, especially because I am losing natural daylight because it's starting to cloud over. It looks like it's gonna rain. So yeah, let's jump into what I've been loving for the month of August. I also have a couple of things that I didn't love as well, so I'm gonna be inserting those at the end. I'm gonna start with makeup first. The first item I have been absolutely loving that I tried this month was the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. This is a drugstore primer for foundation. I've been finding this very mattifying. It feels a little sticky when you first apply it, but as soon as it seeps into your skin, it is great. I highly recommend this if you have combo oily skin. So yeah, and it's super affordable too. It was like $8.99 Canadian. So yeah, I really like this primer. The next item that I have here is from my July Top Box. This is the Trined Nail Repair Treatment. You apply this like a base coat, let it dry, put your nail polish on top. And I found even with just one use, this hardened my nails, and they are way stronger now than they've ever been in my entire life. Not even kidding, that's not even an exaggeration, like seriously. This stuff is really good. If you can get your hands on it, definitely try it. It is awesome. Next item I have here is a lippy, of course, because we all love lippies and I can't go into a drugstore without coming out with lipstick, apparently. This is the Maybelline Color Blur by Lip Studio Cream Matte Pencil and Smudger. And I got mine in the shade 50. I like to mob it. Or mauve it. I guess it'd be mauve. Mauve. Yeah. That would make more sense. <laughs> this is a really pretty dusty rose uh, matte lipstick. Twists up from the bottom like this. And I like how this, uh, unlike uh, some other similar products to this, it comes up in a stick and you can just apply it directly to your lips. The texture is very similar to the soft matte lip creams from NYX. I find that when it's on a, your lips, it has that same smooth, slick feeling. The lasting power is okay, but I just really like the uh, finish of this and the color. I found this really convenient to use this month because it's one of those matte products that you can put on fairly quickly and get out the door. So yeah, I really like this one. And the last makeup item I have is another nail polish, but this is a colored one, obviously. This is the Essie uh, French Affair polish, which is this really pretty, uh, I would say a baby pink with a lilac undertone to it. it. has a little bit of purpleness to it. I've been wearing it on my toes all month and it hasn't really chipped much at all, just at the very corners of like my pinky toes. But it's been a really flattering color to wear with a bit of a tan, so I'm probably gonna paint my nails like this for my trip too. I'm actually going to central Newfoundland for Labor Day weekend, so I might be vlogging out there, so stay tuned for that if you like my vlogs. I've been getting into that recently too. I guess you could say that's a favorite. Yeah, I guess so, because I really... Did I start in July or August? I feel like I might have started... No, I did start in August. Yes, I did. So yeah, if you like vlogs, definitely stay tuned for that. Um, I probably will. I might do just like a music montage of it. Not really sure. We'll figure it out when we get there. So yeah, I really like this polish and I'm definitely going to be reapplying it one last time before September rolls in and fall comes. Pumpkin spice latte everything. Another beauty uh, makeup related item that I completely forgot to mention a minute ago when I talked about the makeup category was the false eyelashes that I was wearing in one of my vlogs recently, the one where I went downtown with my friends. They were the celebrity uh, false eyelashes from Sephora, the Sephora brand themselves. Those were absolutely amazing. Definitely check out the Sephora false eyelashes. Uh, the base of them wasn't too hard, so they were easy to wear. They felt really natural. They blended in with my lashes. So those were absolutely excellent. So definitely check those out. So now let's move on to skincare, body care, that type of thing. The first item here is actually a little tub because it's a Sephora sample. This is the First Aid Beauty Mattifying Gel. Um, I've used probably half of the sample I have of this now. I've been using it for a while. Luckily the girl who gave me this gave me a fair bit, which is awesome because when you're given samples of products, you need enough product to actually see if it's working for your skin. And of course, because it is one of my favorites, it has been working for my skin. I find it's really good at keeping my skin matte and I love the texture of this when you put it on. It almost has a slight silicone feel to it, but it just really like seeps into your skin and it feels like it's giving your skin good ingredients. And I've always respected First Aid Beauty in the past, so I've wanted to try something that's like gonna work for my skin in the summer from them for a while now. So yeah, I probably will go and purchase this, but I can't decide if I wanna get it now or if I wanna wait till next spring. 
So yeah, I really like the mattifying gel from First Aid Beauty. I talk about this way too much on my channel. I'm not gonna get too far into it because I've talked about it a million times, but I got this July 24th and I am halfway through the tub already. So that just shows how much I still love this. <laughs> so yeah, love this stuff. Talked about it before. Moving on. Next item I have here is also something I've used a fair bit up from. This is also from Sephora, the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This has been raved about on YouTube for years, and I've never tried it until I think it was the 14th I bought this. I am already down to here. That's how much I have used in the past like two, three weeks, however long it's been. So yeah, this stuff was great. I definitely want to repurchase this. Haven't decided if I'm gonna actually rack out the money to buy it yet, but this has been super convenient when we had those really humid days. But I find spraying this on my chest and my arms was so refreshing, and my face too, but you know what I mean. The one thing I would say though is if you don't like strong minty rosemary scent, you won't like the scent of this at all. The first couple times I used it, I was a little scared about me buying it. I felt like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like the scent of this. But after a while, you actually get quite used to it, and the cooling effect makes it totally worth it. So definitely give the baby bottle like this a go. The baby bottle's $19, and I think the big bottle is 35? I could be wrong, 35, 36? Something like that. So yeah, I've really, really been liking this. Next item I actually promised I would share with you in my empties video that's already up on my channel, so if you haven't seen that, go click on it. But this is the Aveeno Active Naturals Skin Relief Shave Gel. I mentioned that I have a new favorite shave gel, and this is it. Um, this surprised me. I actually decided to get this from another YouTuber. She's in Chicago, Beauty by Brittany, I think her channel's called. And she said that this is really good for preventing razor burn and just being really good to the skin because Aveeno is a really good brand. I always trust Aveeno. And I can't believe I've never tried this before. It has a really nice cherry almond scent. It lathers up just like any other shave gel. It doesn't seem like a super natural or organic product in the sense that it acts very much like any other shave gel I've used. And I would say it decreases the amount of razor bumps I have and the redness of them, but it doesn't eliminate them completely. But yeah, I really like this and I definitely want to repurchase. The next item here is a really big bottle of body wash from Walmart. This is Tone Radiant Glow Illuminating Body Wash. This claims to have diamond dust and lotus blossom scent. And I think on the back it actually says it contains diamond dust. Like, is that a thing? Like, would that be legit diamonds? Like, I only paid $4 for the body wash, so I don't know. But this stuff smells amazing, it lathers really well, and it makes you feel super clean for super inexpensive. So if you see this in your drugstore, definitely give it a go. I really like it. And it has this really pretty sparkle to it when you pour it out on your loofah, but it doesn't like stick to your skin or anything. Something happened. So yeah, I really like this body wash and I definitely wanna try more of them. I think there's a Shea Butter Moisturizing one too. So I think I'm gonna try that one next. Next, I'm gonna move into hair care. The first item I got in a top box a couple months ago, this is the Aveda Smooth Infusion Naturally Straight. I'm guessing it's just called like a styling balm or a cream or whatever. But this stuff is really good at taming frizz and helping with high humidity if you wanna wear your hair down. At first, I was not totally in love with this, but now that I've needed it during like really humid days, this stuff was actually really good. So if you have an Aveda store near you, go check out this hair cream. My next favorite for the month of August is actually a shampoo and conditioner. These are the Pantene Pro-V Smooth and Sleek anti frizz Shampoo and Finishing Conditioner. Like I just said about the Aveda cream, I've been experiencing a lot of humidity, troublesome, with my hair and just generally having really frizzy like staticky hair so I decided to try these these came in a value pack at Walmart for $8.96 I think which is actually pretty good because if you buy the shampoo and conditioner separately the shampoo is six something and the conditioner is seven something so I actually saved a bit of money by getting the value pack I really like the scent of these uh, they smell very much like the Goldwell Color Care Shampoo and Conditioner. I used to use that back in like 
high school, early university years. And it's a kind of a pricier shampoo, but it worked nice. This smells very similar to those. Now Pantene is something I actually haven't used in a really long time. For some reason, I just didn't have any interest in using sh uh, Pantene shampoos and conditioners for a while and I'm suddenly back into them. They seem to be coming back on YouTube a lot, so that's what kind of sparked my curiosity. So I tried these after the Matrix ones that I used, those sample foil packets, and I really like these. Next, I'm going to move into my fashion category for the month. I don't always do these in my favorites videos. Sometimes I just kind of forget about it, or I don't really take note of what I've been wearing a lot that month. But as of like late July to the end of August, I've been wearing these so much. Whenever I reach for shorts, these are the ones that I reach for. And you guys saw these already in my July haul early summer haul I think it was called. These were the high-waisted floral gap shorts. They're navy with floral pattern on them. They go up to around my belly button if I pull them up properly. They're nice and baggy uh, but still very form-fitting at the waist so they're very flattering on me. These are actually a size up than what I normally go though. I normally go for like a 12-14. These are actually a 16. Um, but yeah, these were the only ones left on the shelf and I really wanted to try them on and turns out they fit me really well. So apparently I wear a size 16 in khaki shorts from Gap. But yeah, I got these on clearance super, super cheap in July and I have been absolutely loving these. The next thing here I have you also saw in my early summer haul. This is the romper that I got from American Eagle. It's like a dark eggplant purple with a bunch of pink and white floral pattern all over it. This has been super comfortable on those really hot days because the short part, the shorts part is really baggy. So these have been super comfortable to wear and especially with the stretchy material and the bagginess of them. But you don't feel like you're walking around your house feeling like a total slob. And you can't exactly wear sweatpants when it's like, 32 human X outside. So yeah, these have come in so much handy. I think they were totally worth the full price, 50 bucks. So yeah, if you can still get your hands on one of these rompers from American Eagle, do it. Next item I have here is an accessory that I've been reaching for for pretty much all of August when I needed something a little bit fancier. This is the necklace that I ordered last year from Mod Cloth. Absolutely gorgeous, or maybe it was the year before that. But anyway, um, it's very well made. Uh, the paint isn't rubbing off. It has a bit of that black tarnish to it, so it looks kind of worn anyway. But yeah, I've been really loving this necklace for the month of August. I don't think Mod Cloth sells this particular one anymore, but they do have lots of beautiful statement necklaces. By the way, I am not sponsored by Mod Cloth. I just shop there a lot. <laughs> I've bought a lot of things from them over the past couple of years, and this has definitely been one of my favorite things that I ever bought from them. Little pricey for a statement necklace, but I've got so much use out of it that it definitely paid for itself. And the last fashion item I have here are these sandals. They're from a brand called No Angel or No Angels. I got these at BOGO last August, so I've had these for about a year now. They're super comfortable. They've never rubbed my feet. Uh, they have these really cool uh, string detailing on the back, and it's like sparkly. I don't know if it's supposed to be snakeskin or not. But it has like silver specks all over the front there and gold clips so I can wear these with either silver or gold jewelry and that I really like about these so I don't know if you can get them anymore but I'm sure there are very similar styles around these days so yeah these have been really great for August I've been wearing these a ton now let's talk about the things that have disappointed me this month there's only two but this one might actually be really really surprising to some people the original beauty blender what I know I was a little surprised that I was disappointed in this. Before I had this one, I've been using the Real Technique sponge. I've had that for a couple months now, and I absolutely love that sponge. I think it's really good at applying foundation. Um, it blends it out better. It holds water better. I find it cleans a little easier too. This one was a lot more expensive. I found that the round end on this doesn't blend into my skin as well as the slanted one on the Real Technique sponge. Uh, but I will say I do like the point on the Beauty Blender better. I think this one is a little bit better at blending in your under eye concealer. But I don't think I would have bought it just for that because the Real Techniques one works just as well for concealer, I think. Uh, this one is slightly more structured, but you can get the exact same look from the other sponge. So I think it would be best if you don't own this already just to save your $26 and buy the eight or nine dollar one at the drugstore. So yeah, this was a little disappointing. I was kind of sad about that because I, I expected like miracles from this, but yeah, 
I like the Real Techniques one better, what can I say? And the other thing that really disappointed me this month, I don't have here in person because I actually ended up returning it, it was the Cherry Fruit Lip Scrub from Bite Beauty. I ran into one of the other girls here on YouTube, Bobby, at Sephora one day, and we were kind of buzzing around the Bite Beauty section looking at the new maple lipsticks, and down below on the lo lower shelf I saw the lip scrub. And I've been looking for a lip scrub I can buy here in person, similar to what the Lush lip scrub does for me, because that way I don't have to order it online every time I run out of it. So I decided to try that one because when I opened it, it smelled like heaven. If you love really fruity candy scents, you will love the smell of the Bite Beauty lip scrub. But I found that it didn't have enough grits in it, it wasn't exfoliating enough. There was a lot of cream in it, uh, it was very nourishing and moisturizing. But the problem with that was, every time I rubbed it on my lips, a lot of it would bleed off onto the outer area of my lips, and my chin, and my upper lip, and once I was rinsing it off, of course, you kind of have to work it in, you would get a bunch of product around your lips, and I found that was breaking me out because it was like too moisturizing. So it did an okay job, but it wasn't harsh enough for my lips, so I ended up returning it to, to Sephora. It wasn't an issue, but yeah, I really wanted to like that lip scrub because it smelled so good, uh, and the packaging was pretty cute too. Oh well. It is what it is. So that is everything for my August favorites this month. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you make monthly favorites videos too, leave your comment down below so I can go watch yours too. And I will be back with another video soon. Bye!